Hello, my name is Nicolae Baciu. I'm uh, the owner and founder of uh, Foldo, and this is our shop. Foldo is a design studio based in Bucharest, Romania. Here at Foldo we design and make uh, cardboard furniture. We use uh, eco design in our uh, manufacturing uh, cycle. We find out that eco design means to design a, a, an object with sustainability in, in mind. We design every piece of furniture you will need in your home, from beds, tables, shelves, kids, uh, chairs, uh, kids, tables, everything you need in your house uh, except kitchen and bathroom. Our bed can sustain up to 400 kilos. Our uh, chair can, can take uh, almost 140 kilos. Besides the, the fact we are using cardboard and you will think the cardboard it, it's a poor material. If you design the product uh, having in mind you will put a heavy weight on it. You can use by bending it. Uh, you can use some techniques to make it stronger and uh, we are very good at that. I'm a designer. I always uh, was passionate about uh, making things um, and building stuff and uh, six years ago I was moving uh, from an apartment to another. We had uh, some troubles moving the furniture and the idea came up let's make something uh, lightweight and uh, uh, foldable maybe to fit in our uh, trunk <laughs> and we have a small car back then and uh, we did some uh, chairs and some armchairs. In the next uh, three months, uh, we developed uh, the lightings and uh, we attended a, a design fair. People were so uh, amazed by uh, our products and that gave us confidence. We did uh, other products and in a couple of years, we had around 100 products developed. We started a, as a small company. We used the, the scissors, the knife <laughs> to cut our, our products. And uh, when we bought some equipment, we had some, uh, some ideas to have a minimum waste of material. Uh, and uh, we developed a, a lighting uh, collection made from scraps, from production scraps. That gave us the, the direction to uh, circular economy model and uh, from then we try to minimize the waste and uh, also uh, use uh, better materials in, in our manufacturing uh, process. Together with our partners we develop a, a new kind of cardboard, thicker, uh, more durable and uh, more resistant to, to moisture. And our goal now is to have uh, minimum waste and uh, if it's possible, zero waste. We started this company with passion, not uh, focused on making money, necess not necessarily to make money. But in the meantime, we find out we could develop different revenue streams. So now uh, we, are, we have two revenue streams. Uh, it's uh, the business to consumer channel and the business to business channel. In the business to consumer channel, we uh, design, manufacture and sell through our online store uh, furniture for children rooms. We try to, to make that as low as possible on price because we want everybody to, to use our furniture and we know uh, kids are, are growing so fast uh, that's why <laughs> uh, the cardboard furniture it, it's a good fit in, in our children's bedrooms because we have to change it a lot. The other channel is, is our uh, business to business uh, channel. We develop uh, exhibition stands. We also participated at around 40 different fairs and uh, in that time we build our own booths and uh, we learn how to build it <laughs> and people came to us and 
told us we want that it's so smart and <laughs> so easy to assemble it and we are interested to, to buy one. That's the reason we have a business to business channel now. Another type of client for our business to business channel, it's uh, the pop-up client. Uh, it's a client who owns a store for a limited period of time and our furniture fits perfectly in that kind of terms. We build uh, a lot of uh, coffee bars and uh, fresh bars mostly for events. Another, uh, another sector of our business is the furniture for offices. In that kind of uh, times when COVID hits, <laughs> uh, we developed a, a, a new kind of uh, desk uh, to work from home and uh, it was a real uh, success in, in the business to business market. We have some strategic partners, the factory who made the cardboard for us. Together we develop a new kind of uh, board. It helps us to build uh, more stable structures. We also partner with uh, a recycling company because if we want to sell uh, furniture for children and we want to buy it back, we have to recycle it in, in a closed uh, loop. Our business model wasn't focused on reaching clients. We just exhibited some products. Uh, people uh, liked it, buy it and recommend it to their friends. And we didn't do a lot of marketing because our products speak for themselves. Our customers are uh, mainly young families with children. That's the, the important segment of uh, our business. We would like to, uh, to We'll talk uh, more uh, with uh, students because uh, they will need our furniture also. Another customer, uh, it's the old people. We, found, <laughs> we find out uh, moving the furniture in the house is not always a, 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 a easy thing to do. The old people uh, appreciate our, our products. The products are, are uh, lightweight. Well, we have uh, the chair uh, weights only three kilograms and that's a win-win situation for everybody. We are always focused on um, developing new products and uh, we are looking for new kind of methods of uh, assembling and also we are looking for new materials, new kind of glues. All our focus is on sustainability. I think this must be the future of our generation and our uh, kids. When you try to dispose your, your bed, it's more difficult these days. You can't throw it because uh, it will uh, get in, in the landfill and that's not a good thing. The cardboard, it, it's a uh, biodegradable material and uh, it's 100% recyclable, that means uh, your bed in another life could be a desk or, or a, a lamp or something else. We think our business model will inspire uh, more people. We didn't invent the cardboard furniture, uh, Frank Gehry did. We tried to have an open source business model. We can uh, send the technical drawings to anyone who wants to build cardboard furniture. We try to build a community of designers. We try to make it more popular. We have some uh, problems uh, we tried to obtain last year the ecological label, European ecological label, and they don't have the cardboard furniture department for that. We asked for uh, European Commission to start this new category of products. And I think uh, we are at the beginning and the furniture made from cardboard could change in, in time and could be more uh, approachable because now it's more designish <laughs> but uh, in the near future i think the finishing of our product will look better it will be a good replacement for the classic furniture being focused on on our uh, 
customers, we develop a buyback uh, program and we take back the furniture, we, we get them uh, a discount uh, card and they can upgrade or uh, buy uh, new pieces of furniture. The old furniture will be refurbished and uh, sold again to different uh, customers or if it's too damaged, uh, it will be uh, recycled and transformed in, in paper, cardboard and furniture again. The product doesn't end up in the landfill. That's the, the main advantage of using the buyback program. When you don't know what circularity means, uh, you can be a little bit afraid of that term. The moment you understand that this model could uh, save money, save the planet, and also be more responsible with your environment, you will understand that's the, the next model of business and that could be uh, our future and our goal in, in the next uh, years.